Well, hey guys, uh, I was going to get this video a long time ago, but uh, we got a rig move, all the kind of different stuff, and here we are up at the location. So this charge pump skid was the piece I was supposed to be getting, and you can see it's huge. It's good size, it's probably about 42 foot. So, I ain't got a lot of time, I'm on the job site here. So, the, the cross chaining I had to do was pretty strange, you know, it's just, you just make do with what you got. So, trying to keep it neutral and pulled to the rear. Cross chain either side with some carpet padding over there too. And you got it all locked down. And I came all the way around, everything was just fine. Anything that was uh, with a strap I had to pad a little bit you know it was a little sharp but also these pieces you need to see those you know there was rope but that's fine but they need to have something over them any one of those little things that's all they was holding them was rope so I, I put a strap through them made sure everything was covered let me see here too and also over there, you know, I mean the rope, but there's two separate pieces there. At least I got a strap over it and everything made it just fine. And the ones in the back here were just, just freaking strange. Now I come up some pretty, pretty rough road and it could have moved a little bit, but not too bad. You see the cross chain in the rear. So we barely made it. I mean, it's, uh, you know, stuff was, supposed to be inside but it ended up just a little bit over but there's not a dang thing we can do about it because we had it chained about as good as chain is going to get so well, here's the cross chain again and around this bolster here so that works looking at everything you know they got a lot of cord a lot of wire a lot of this a lot of that and everything had to be roped and I, I went through and checked everything you gotta do that with your hands make sure it's squared away and it's only like three degrees out here so it's cold and <coughs> so we're gonna be up here for a little while and then we'll get escorted out but that's that's okay we made it I didn't care I just want to be here and get on the site and know what I got to deal with. But you know, it's pretty decent. You know, big bucks, no whammies, right? You take a look at this. this. is a similar type of grab I showed you before. It was down up through and on itself with the hook. And it's it's pretty reasonable. I mean, it all made it. I mean, it's it was uh, every bit of 1,200 miles, close to it, 1,150, 1,170. And it's just colder than crap. So I'm not gonna stay out here too long. I'm sorry about that, but you know, it's hard to operate this camera with gloves on. But so just so you can see, there was a foot overhang. It was no big deal. Um, the equipment was uh, pretty good shape. I mean, this stuff is like brand new. I even went and bought myself a stocking cap best $6.99 I had spent in a long time. <laughs> I knew I was going to need one. I didn't have one for some reason. I used to wear them all the time. I don't haven't had one in a long time. But they only had so much room so we had to kind of pull in here Kitty Wampus to get off the, the rig road there so that people can get in and out. And we were escorted in because we were up two lane roads that were uh, well if you'd have met a car coming the other way when you come around a curve, uh, they wouldn't have made it. So, it was best. Mustache is already freezing. The hell with this crap. <laughs> I'm going back in the truck. <laughs> we'll see you on the road. One last thing I'll show you. I'll see if I can show you some of the unloading area. I mean, it's, you know, the roads are really built nicely. I mean, that's fine. Uh, no problem there. 
to get you up to the spot where we're going to work you. Probably where you take everything off. If that's too steep. I'm not taking. I'm not taking anything off until I go way the hell up there. So it's all good. Just looking at what the folks are doing, and they were pretty, uh, pretty good. The gal on the radio doing the pilot car work. Um, I couldn't really understand her that good, but that's just stuff that you deal with, adjust the radio and just tell them, you know, but she was really good, she read out all the curves, the speeds, uh, what was clear, who was coming, where we were going, and I was, for the most part, I caught a lot of it, but there was just stuff, some stuff that was just the way it is. I got a code for 29, and that's all right, but I still couldn't quite understand everything, so... They did hire professionals to do this, to bring us in here, and it's good because if you look on the map for uh, Flushing, Ohio, you'll see a lot of the narrow two lanes that were built, you know, probably um, in the 30s originally, and just narrow. You start getting big trucks on there. Uh, I'm 73 feet, you know, not, uh, not over width or anything, but, you know, we got to have a little bit of room because... You know, spread axle trailer going around the corner, I'm four feet into the next lane. So it's like, yeah, there's nothing left for a car. So that's pretty much it. And uh, I think these folks are going to be pretty squared away. Not sure how long I'm going to be here, but, you know, what the heck. So we're just going to hang out, enjoy, and not worry about it too much. I'm working on a load home. Um, it, the deadhead is kind of kind of far, 260 miles. It's loads I've hauled before, but it'd be from middle eastern Kentucky all the way down to middle uh, in Ohio, where I'm at now, down to uh, the middle of Kentucky. So that's a fair chunk of change. But the, the only uh, loads I have load out tomorrow. So it looks like I'll be able to make it, and we'll see what goes on. It's been a slim February. Um, you know, I've had a lot of camping. You know, I've been just lucky enough to grab load here and there just to you know, keep us above uh, above board and afloat to pay the freaking bills. I mean, that, that's just about it. So probably what I'm going to do now is I'll go out and I'll start taking off some some of the straps. The chains are fine, uh, but if I can get some of that junk off, you know, I'll work on it. There's no need for me to, you know, I can't take any chains off because that's just, wouldn't make any sense and it wouldn't be safe. You can't do that. So, you know, I get some of the junk off, but I had securement every so many feet. That's fine. They told me I could go over the top of the no, not in this particular case because it probably wouldn't hold much. Um, it just, in my opinion, I put it down low. To where there's it would keep it tight and you know even shifting when I was taking some of these right hand turns that dip it, 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 it just slid you know even a half an inch it's, I had everything on there known to mankind just pretty much and I'm not sure what else a person could do because there was no other places to hook up so it made it and that's all it counts so, I guess that's about it. I hope uh, winter's going well for everybody. I hope you're all making money. It's been a tough one, and I've seen some really, uh, I don't know, increased uh, incidents of, um, I would say, really stupid truck drivers. Uh, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not. But I'm just saying that a lot of people were just really doing just absolutely stupid stuff. That's why we're getting to see more and more crap out here on the news. And sure, the four-wheelers uh, don't help us any, and they do plenty of stupid stuff. But um, I don't know. I just too much packing up, too much of this and that and the other, and just no patience whatsoever. It's government... Uh, playing games with our, our rules and stuff like that. It's, uh, you know, that 30-minute break crap. 
you know, that needs to go. That needs to go. I put in a little politic on this, and I'm going to say it, you know. Uh, we've had enough of this bullshit. You know, a 30 minute break cuts 30 minutes off your 14, so you're hustled. <coughs> so what do you think? I'd like to hear what your comments are too, because if you take uh, 30 minutes off the overall 14 that you can work, guess what? You, it just puts that, it's already bad enough, but they're going to put that uh, extra hustle in on you trying to push it, push it to, to get to the customer and stuff and because everybody's uh, harassing you from dispatch and luckily I'm my own dispatch I can't really harass myself so I guess I could but you all think I was freaking nuts so that's all fine and mopo dandy so uh, howdy uh, down there in New Zealand Hilton if you're watching this howdy do and uh, all you guys tip one for me good deal you guys have fun I'm gonna get off here and quit yakking so see you on the road and there goes the piece they had to slide it off I was just gonna try and catch it right at the end here they actually pulled it off with the cable and slid it right off the trailer part of part way and then up on on that cantilevered it a little bit and uh, and they're going to lay it down. So that's pretty That's pretty cool. We're up on top of the hill. It's kind of windy, you know. It warmed up just a tad. But I thought I'd throw that little bit in there. Sorry I didn't catch it all at the, at the uh, beginning. But there you kind of see his truck moving that stuff off of there. I'm just waiting for somebody to sign my dang bills of lading and I can unask the AO, you know. Just hoping I catch it right at the end here so you guys can see that thing come on down. See, so just just laying it right down with the big thick ass cables. And there she is. Another fine delivery by Bonehead Trucking. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that part. See you on the road.